Amazing. So we are beginning a commemoration of Hiroshima Day by launching these boats and candles into Lake Champlain in commemoration of the 79th anniversary of the dropping of the Hiroshima bomb. We are reading parts of House Resolution 77 called Embracing the Goals and Provisions of the Treaty of the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. This was sponsored by, first of all, Representative McGovern, James McGovern of Massachusetts on the 31st of January in 2023 in the House Foreign Affairs and Armed Services Committee. It embraces the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons which was first created in 2017. We are going to read just the provisions that are asked for in this resolution, which is full of tremendous details about the destructive power and the potential destructive power of another release of nuclear bombs in this very tense situation that we are having in the world right now. So, whereas on July 7th, 2017, an alternative global nuclear policy was adopted by 122 nations by signing the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, which calls for the elimination of all nuclear weapons. Whereas the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons entered into force on January 22, 2021. Whereas on January 24, 2023, the Science and Security Board of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists set their iconic doomsday clock to 90 seconds to midnight, the closest it has ever signaled how close humanity is to self-destruction and urged governments to take action to make the world safer. And... Whereas the invasion of Ukraine by the Russian Federation has increased the danger and potential of the use of nuclear weapons and nuclear war. Now, therefore, be it... Resolved that it is the sense of the House of Representatives that the United States won calls on the President to embrace the goals and provisions of the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons and make nuclear disarmament the centerpiece of the national security policy of the United States and two calls on the Secretary of State, the Secretary of Defense, all other federal and congressional leaders of the United States and the American people to lead a global effort to move the world back from the nuclear brink and to prevent nuclear war by A. Actively pursuing and concluding negotiations on a new bilateral nuclear arms control and disarmament framework agreement with the Russian Federation before 2026 and pursuing negotiations with China and other nuclear armed states on an agreement or agreements for the verifiable, enforceable, and time-bound elimination of global nuclear arsenals. B. Renouncing the option of using nuclear weapons first. C. Ending the President's sole authority to launch a nuclear attack. D taking the nuclear weapons of the United States off hair trigger alert and E canceling the plan to replace the nuclear arm arsenal of the United States with modernized enhanced weapons thank you thank you shall we have a moment of silence as yes. we contemplate this day of the 79th anniversary 
Let's go Hiroshima bomb. We're 90,000 to 100,000 people died. So we came down to Lake Champlain uh, on Hiroshima Day and it's the custom to float little candle boats in the water uh, as they do in Hiroshima and Nagasaki at this time of year and not just candle boats but we also have a lantern that was made by Jim Geyer and, uh, and um, Jean Plo. And uh, so that's what we're doing here and also reading the uh, wording of the resolution that we're ho hoping that Becca Ballant will sign on to, which is called Resolution House Resolution 77. And um, being here has been very peaceful and we've just sat here and watched the uh, candles burn down and it's been beautiful.